Alex, I like to give two reasons. And normally, you know, normally I don't come on and endorse or not endorse any candidate. I don't do that. My job is stay with the Clintons and do what I vowed to do. But you see, with Trump, it's different. Trump is not a politician. That's a good point, number one. Now, he's bought several of them. He'll admit that. He's bought them. But he's not one. And then when I see the massive effort, in some cases, Alex, I think you're right, it's unprecedented what the party, the establishment is doing to bring him down. That's the greatest endorsement the man could have. But then Hillary getting out, it never happened. You know, Alex, if, for everybody that's listening and, you, you know, you're getting fed up and you think, well, my gosh, how much more has got to come out on the email things until they indict Hillary? Let me tell you, folks, Hillary and her crew brought it out. They know the end of this game with the emails. If she gets prosecuted, her defense attorney is going to say, well, give us all of those documents and we're going to have to use them in our defense. And you're going to say, whoa, we can't give you those documents to use in your defense. And you said that was going to happen. Now they've declared them reclassified. You said that four months ago they do that. Yeah. They've done the so, exact thing. Yeah, so you're not going to be, so it's going to be no price. And Hillary knows that. So Biden and Elizabeth Ward, even though they're sitting in the bullpen to come on board, they've got problems with Hillary. Cruz Rubio. Alex, here's what I say to Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio. You're not going to make it to the top, boys. You have my word, Ted Cruz, that I will make sure the world knows who you are, just who you are and what you are. And Alex, you know me. I don't say stuff like that idly. It's going to come out. Then you got Rubio. Now you have to watch the sleeper in this race. Stay there. I want to get back to Rubio, back to Cruz in a moment. And I want to hear from you months before what's going to be on the cover of the Inquirer. Because uh, you, you've done that again and again. It keeps coming out. So I want to hear how we defeat Hillary, how we beat Obama, and how we get a president in there that is not a globalist stooge. Stay with us, folks. It's key intel. Straight ahead. I'm Alex Jones with InfoWars.com. But it's a new kind of war. They're destroying our economy. They're imploding our borders. They are bringing in dependents who can be a new political class. They are openly demonizing free speech. And they're trying to set us up, prepare for war with the military and the police. And my message to the military and police is this. That's why I gave a big donation to the Fallen Police Officers Program. And also, you know, for the police officers program, they have kids that have cancer and stuff. Same reason I give money to Meals on Wheels and the rest of it and Salvation Army. Because I'm trying to do good here. I don't want to be enemies with the police. But let me tell you, the enemies have seized this country. You got the Border Patrol coming out saying it's all gone. We're told to let everybody go. There's no border. It's total treason. You understand, the, the, our government is captured by criminals. Americans have a right right now to physically fight back. That's not smart strategy at this point. But they're preparing down the road when we lose these battles to come after the patriots. And then it all kicks off because folks just can't go along with it. We're living in history right now. That's why I aired that Red Dawn intro. But it came from within, not from without, folks. It came from Goldman Sachs, who's come out today. I'm going to get to this after Larry leaves us. This is a very important article. Goldman Sachs says it may be forced to fundamentally question how capitalism is working. And it goes on to basically say, Goldman Sachs says that it, do that it doesn't have efficacy, that it's not ethical. So Goldman Sachs comes in, set up after 1900, uses its money to fund the Bolshevik Revolution, uses its money to create crony capitalism, to take our tax money, that's Bloomberg reporting this, and now is set to destroy it, blaming it for what it's done when it runs the whole show. That's beautiful. And who's it run? Hillary Clinton and Ted Cruz. Who, who, who does it hate? Who's, who's not given $1? That'd be smart for them to slip a donation in that Trump doesn't even know about and say, oh, look, we gave a donation. Uh, the point is, is that I don't give my ideas. The point is, I mean, this is it. This is the crony capitalist wrecking your ladder up. They're in the hot air balloon. They already got off the ground. They want to cut that rope so you can't get up there and then laugh at you and blame that on the patriot movement. So uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. And the more socialism they call for, the more there's a tiny one half of one-tenth of one percent that has all the wealth. 
then they sick the giant unwashed masses that can't pay for anything. On the middle class, it's annihilated, and the ladder up, the stairway up to wealth is gone. And you commit us to third world status and elite victory. You, you know Latin America and Africa and Eastern Europe and Asia don't need to be third world. You know their elites write books bragging they keep them poor outside their armored fortresses. That's what makes them God. They can buy your, do your daughter for a dollar in places like Thailand. And now you're going to live it here. You're going to be good slaves. And Larry, you know, you did a lot of classified stuff. I know in the military in Central and South America. We ought to have you on for a full hour sometime just to talk about your experiences and things you did. I know a lot of the stuff with the Clintons was illegal, so you can't really get into that. That's some of the, you know, bodies are buried stuff, which I don't know. But sometimes it's just good to get that stuff out there. I know you're keeping it as an ace in the hole. And obviously, uh, you know, if you do die from this cancer, which we hope doesn't happen, I'm sure a lot of that's going to come out. I just wonder if the folks that have it are, are, have got the huevos you've got and, and, and will release it. I do not have it. And that's not because I'm even afraid. I'm afraid to lose my life for nothing thinking I have something I don't. Uh, but, 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 but getting back to the Clintons, getting back to where we are in a society, getting back to the world we're in, what their next moves are. You were warning Ted Cruz saying, I've got the dirt on you, buddy. You know, you're never going to be there. Uh, I mean, I, I say just go ahead and start bringing that out now to torpedo him, and, it, it, and, I, and then let's expand into Rubio. Well, I intend to. One of the things that needs to be done right now about Iowa, and they better do it quick. This is a suggestion, but, and I know because I did it against the Clintons. How do you think I got him impeached? Uh, ben Carson needs to file a complaint with the FCC. He also, he also needs to go across the street and file a federal complaint in the federal court. Now, he needs to find three people or Trump. Somebody needs to find three people that were going to vote for Carson, went into that room when they heard that, flipped their vote. And with those three people, they can file a theft by deception charge, criminal charge against Cruz. Trust me, Cruz is done. Now, I don't have standing. But that has never stopped me before of interceding in something that I felt like I needed to intercede in. Then, then you got to know about Rubio. See, you have to know the confidential flow chart, their strategy flow chart, the, uh, what do you, what do you want to call them? The hierarchy, the establishment. Chain of command. They want chain of command. Well, this is a flow chart for how to push, get it, folks, you're not going to believe it, Jeb Bush in. You see, Jeb Bush is sitting there. Now, if Trump, if Rubio and Cruz beat Trump and drive him out, then it'll be Rubio and Cruz. Then they have the same stuff on Cruz that I have. And then when they get rid of Cruz, they're going to go after Rubio. Now, they're going to point out that Rubio's queer. I didn't, that ain't me. I'm telling you what they're going to do. They're going to point out that he is about as homosexual a queer as there is a homosexual queer. Now, once again, that's not me, Rubio. That's them. When they eliminate Cruz, Rubio, and they have done away with Trump, guess who's in line then, buddy? Jeb Bush. And you got a brokered election, which insiders admit they're planning. They're brokering the election. You, you, folks, in a primary, I've told you before, Alex has told you. In a primary, it's all about money. He who has the most money stays till the end. And then you've got somebody that's an odd bark like Trump. Here comes Trump. He doesn't need that money. He'll do it on his own. But they plan to remove him. They plan to get rid of him and use Cruz and Rubio to do it. And I will not let that stand. I will not. And trust me, Alex, I don't know how much you know about Ted Cruz, but... Uh, no, I don't ever want to know anything about people uh, individually until it's time to drop the hammer on them, and then I want to know that information <laughs> right the moment it's released where I'm not standing yeah. next to the explosion. <laughs> well, Ted Cruz is not what he's purported to be. I mean, anyway, I'm going to leave it at that for now, but don't worry. Hell's coming to Cruz. Trust me. Hillary, Hillary's safe. I still get this stuff where she's going to be indicted. She's going to be indicted. Alex, think about it. If Hillary was going to be indicted with the email thing,
There's enough evidence there. Sure, and, and we have everything else, done. Benghazi, the list goes on and on. Well, then what right. about this? What about the FBI then releasing its investigation and saying they she should have? They can't. In fact, the I saw FBI. articles now that they're not releasing the Whitewater uh, draft <laughs> indictments they yeah. had on her for that. No. I mean, they're going to – if Toomey really has put 100 FBI agents that are above everybody and were really doing a good job, he's got to submit to Loretta Lynch. He's got to submit the case to her, and then she's got to make the decision whether to prosecute it. And I'm telling you guys, nobody in Washington wants Hillary indicted because it means their end. It's their end. So just know, quit worrying about the FBI. If Toomey, the FBI director, is as squeaky clean as everybody you says. You understand, haven't we reached a moment, though, because a lot of evidence is that, that the FBI director, J. Edgar Hoover, didn't, didn't die like they said in his bedroom, uh, yeah. but, but, but they were sick of him blackmailing both sides, and so he kind of had, had a little accident. And I'm not saying I want that to happen to Hillary. I'm not at that level. I don't want to be involved. I'm a guy that just sits here and looks at the info because I want to be here at the end of this for my kids. Uh, and I can do even bolder stuff than I do. The point is I don't play in the cloak and dagger channels. Right. But right. when I've seen stuff like this historically, when, when everybody's lined up, everybody's at loggerheads, there's a stalemate. Usually one side or the other is going to jump and people are going to start getting killed. You know, Alex, I'm afraid you're right. I really am. I'm afraid you're right. Now, remember, this is a plague that stays with the Clintons. Whenever the Clintons were involved, when he was governor, when Bill Clinton was president, people die around this couple like you have never seen. And I'm afraid that what you're describing may be on someone's drawing board. Someone's. Hillary right now had better be getting her butt puckered because she's right between, in a way, Obama's in the same shape I am. He's in between Hillary and some, she, something she's wanted since she was four years old. And the only way to get rid of a problem who's already convicted in the court of public opinion yeah. and is bringing your party mm -hmm. down with her losing every state and every governorship is right. to make her a hero where she falls down and has a stroke? That's, that's about it. Remember this. Hillary's going to come out of this email scandal. And you might as well just get ready for the, for the reports. It's going to be, oh, these mean old right-wing conservative Republicans conspiracy. They've thrown all of these things about the emails, and they knew there was She said it again there. last night. She said yeah. the vast right-wing conspiracy has gotten better funded. <clears throat> yeah, and then it's all there. But think about it, folks. She lived through it. And I'll tell you, she's wanting to lose New Hampshire. She, she, she wanted to lose Iowa, but then it looked like it might be such a negative that she backed out. But Hillary has got to lose New Hampshire for her playbook to actually work. She's got to be, Alex, the underdog. You can never run a Clinton, never run a Clinton until they're the underdog. And then they will rise up out of the ashes. And then she like says, the I'm under attack. Protect me and I'll protect you. And then, and then all you of her it. followers feel like she needs them and they're part of her life. It's That's all right. a big sucker job. That's right. Look, Bill and Hillary count on we the people to be the first three rows of a wrestling match, Alex. The first three rows of a rash, rash, wrestling match as the Clintons and I used to define it. Those are the people that sit right up on the front, front three rows. You can obviously see the fighters drawing their punches. You can see that they're all tricks. They're not really hitting each other straight in the nose with a brick. You see all of that. You're right there. But then they get up and believe it and walk out. Let's spend a few minutes separately on, when we come back from break, on what you think Trump should do to win and what we can do to help him do that. Because obviously the you whole bet. system's against him. It's for real. It's not show. It's not a foil. But separately, let's get for just two, three months before we go to break into how you got recruited by the Clintons, what you were doing in the special forces in Latin America, and how that expertise you know, helped you now see what's happening to America itself. Well, I have been... I've been involved in a lot of things in different operations, and I had decided I was through with that. That's how I ended up going to work for Bill at the Arkansas Development Finance Authority. I had seen too much. It was getting too rough, and I noticed in the racket I was in, Alex, there were no gray hairs. And what I mean by that, nobody lived beyond 35. 
when you got to 35, you'd been in the middle of enough stuff that you knew too much. So now they throw you in the missions that 